very good uh, good evening to all of you uh, good evening good evening ej nice to meet you again over this wonderful evening yeah, yeah same here so lara will supposed to join us you should wait for her sure sure uh so this time we have uh, utkarsh tiwari who's joining us as a speaker he's the chief strategy officer here at coin bx very nice hello all of you yeah, nice hi, to be you hey mayor say mayor utkarsh i'm excited to be a part of the session today i look yeah. a lot of people joining in i look yes. forward to an amazing event thank you yeah very nice thank you Uh, so I just approve Lara to be a speaker as well. So I think we should be able to have her join us shortly. Uh, yeah, hi everybody. I hope you all doing great. Hello, hello, Lara. How are you? All good, all good. How are you guys? Doing good. Welcome, Lara. Thanks. All right. Shall we get started now? Yes. Yes. yes please. Absolutely, Lara. Um, so we'll uh, start off with the questions like last time, and uh, Vizit will be answering those questions. And then after a while, uh, Vizit will be asking us some of the questions, right? Sure. Sure. Anyway, uh, welcome, Lara and Ag, to CoinVX's space. Lovely to have you both here with us. Um, so. to kick things off first uh, that you are, we are the first exchange you are listing with how have the last few months been from where you started till the go to market phase mm -hmm. uh, so why why did the journey begin back in 2021 as a trc uh, 20 token on the tron blockchain and wherein we the initial price discovery took place on sun swap uh dex and then during our migration from wise token to wise it coins we set a tbl to be listed price of around 20 dollars with plans to list in december 2025 however as a blockchain crypto space rapidly evolved especially during the bear market we adapted our strategy accordingly uh so with the recent bitcoin halving and the continued um, growth in the blockchain space we have made some really great significant a significant progress in the meantime uh, thanks for com community support we successfully logged over 62000 wizeth in exclusive staking pro protocols on our defi platform so we are in boosting our tvl to probably around 4.5 million plus dollars within the past 4 5 months and then given this momentum wizeth dow decided to expand uh, the listing process mm -hmm. sorry can you hear me yes we can please proceed so yeah i i was saying we uh, like given this momentum why is it dow actually decided to expand its uh, listing process we are really excited to announce coin bx as our first exchange partner uh, marking the beginning of why is its next chapter as we bridge both um, decentralized and uh, centralized platforms So yeah, we are very thrilled to have CoinBX on board for this very important milestone. Uh, congratulations on the milestone, Lara and Ag. I mean, we are very excited to have you guys uh, join us, and we hope to grow together continuously. Uh, moving on to the next question, uh, could you share any updates on some new partnerships or collaborations that Wiset has established, and how do these align with your long-term vision? Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, yeah, there have has been several exciting developments in the process, and the recent one ones where Wiset has a really exciting developments lineup for September twenty twenty four. So we have partnered with over ten exchanges for Wise uh, token li listings, ensuring broad access to our token. In addition to that, we have formed exclusive partnerships with BlockScan and RouterScans to provide advanced explore services for the Wise blockchain. And to drive better innovation, we will be launching DevRel programs to invite developers to build on Wise along with hosting several hackathons and events to. uh make the collaboration better within the space 
also we are planning to offer grants to support the great or any outstanding projects which are being developed um, the dapps on our chain specifically so as a dao uh, wiser has decided to pursue early listings with coinbx of course as our first exchange partner yeah that's about it for now amazing it sounds really really exciting great um so what are your um, long term goals for wiser and how would you want to achieve them in the current market environment uh okay Uh, so long term vision uh, is basically to establish a really comprehensive defi or cfi hub through the in house platform which is wise scale um additional to that wise labs as a part of uh, the blockchain as a service uh, initiative um, we are focused on developing a zk evm based layer 2 solution on the ton blockchain so this will part the wise ZK was as a dedicated hub for mini app based gaming and entertainment experiences and uh, so yeah uh, that's about it for now there are several other expansion programs and scalable solutions which we will be providing for enterprises so people can check out or audience can check out our link in bio and they can know more about it perfect thanks for that lara um so what trends do you see shaping the future of the crypto market and how is wise it positioning itself to take advantage of these trends mm -hmm. um great question um so the crypto market is always evolving you know and we are seeing several developments going on especially in the bull market shows signs of returning uh hopefully <laughs> wiset is still in the positioning uh, process of its as a key player in the space standing out as a zero fee layer one uh, blockchain and this is the unique offering which opens up many new opportunities for builders investors and even users to interact with blockchain technologies without the usual barriers and as wiset moves forward it's entering a crucial phase um so where it aims to empower the community by providing a seamless and many cost effective platform for um various activities from development to investment and with a few of the in innovative approach we are taking in wiset is set to make a significant impact in the crypto land landscape which has always been evolving amazing and i completely agree about the, the crypto markets <laughs> ever evolving landscape it's definitely an exciting place yeah. to be in like never <laughs> never a dull day <laughs> so uh, moving on to our next question uh, looking ahead um, how do you see why is it evolving in the broader crypto ecosystem hmm um so in the next 2 3 years i believe wise we believe actually wise this set to become one of the most utilized and explored uh, explored uh, blockchains in the market uh, we are constantly actively building and expanding our ecosystem with the help of our community as well and other people involved in space and also you will see wise powering everything from global government partnerships projects to enterprise solutions and developers founders and startups are already cho choosing wise as the foundation for their blockchain and crypto ventures so positioning us as a leader in the industry for that kind of innovation growth in the next 2 3 years amazing and i'm sure that we'll get there um so moving on uh, wiser has already made uh, significant inroads in uh, many regions so uh, which markets are you targeting next apart from india so wiser currently also uh, not restricted to india only uh, it has a global community based right now as well from where we have selected 10 exchanges for first month of getting wiser listed to cater our global community to be part of the same so basically next month or phase 1 we can say we will be getting into tier 1 or tier 2 exchanges mm, final phase will be tier 1 exchange listing uh, all right cool um so decentralized finance defi continues to reshape the crypto landscape So, how does Wiser mm -hmm. integrate with DeFi platform, and what role do you see Wiser playing in the DeFi ecosystem? 
Uh, yeah, the DeFi space has been rapidly evolving since its rise in 2020, since we have been involved in the space with many new protocols emerging daily, each offering unique features or better yield generating opportunities. So at WISE, uh, we have developed our own DeFi platform, WISE Scale, which offers really best in class protocols. So through wise skill, users can explore a variety of options such as staking, farming, uh, AI trading bots, um, insurance, fixed returns, and mutual fund strategies as well. So our platform is designed to cater to different risk appetites, allowing the community to generate the yields using their wise tokens based on their preferences and also their risk tolerance. Awesome, awesome. Um, so, CoinBX has integrated the Wiser chain. Uh, what are your future plans for the native blockchain? Okay, uh, so Wiser is developing a zkvm based uh, layer two solution on the Ton blockchain, um, which parts the Wiser zkverse as well, uh, which is a hub for mini app gaming. And uh, Wiseth is also expanding into enterprise blockchain, uh, offering scalable and secure solutions. So here are a few other key, um, key benefits wherein which would help uh, prevent frauds and uh, better transparency and better efficiency. So when we talk about fraud, uh, fraud uh, prevention, uh, it ensures product authenticity at every stage. Uh, while talking about transparency, auditable records, it will enhance uh, accountability in the supply chain. And coming back to the efficiency, uh, we believe automation reduces paperwork and improve processes. Um, so yeah, these are the few benefits which I believe, uh, you know, ca can be really good for um, the ecosystem. Perfect, perfect. Thanks a lot. So yeah, moving on to the next question, uh, interoperability is key for a connected blockchain ecosystem. So how does Wiset ensure a smooth interaction with other blockchains and are there any future plans for expanding this? Yeah, sure. The Wiset team has created a really robust DeFi CFI ecosystem within Wise Scale, uh, which helps incorporating many advanced bridging services that facilitate smooth interoperability with EVM blockchains. So this setup ensures seamless integration and also the connectivity across various blockchain networks, uh, which also helps enhance accessibility and functionality for the existing and the new users. Amazing. Uh, so that uh, wraps up our set of questions, Lara. Thank you so much. So now I'll be passing on the mic to you and um, EG. And um, over to you, Lara. Please go ahead with your questions. Sure, sure. sure. OK, so um, shall we get started on the questions? Question fire for <laughs> CoinVX team. Please, please, please. Yeah, uh, great to have you, Kush, here. So uh, coming uh, on to my first question. Um, so we have seen CoinBX substantial growth over the past, uh, past few months. Uh, can you share some more insights into your strategic vision for the next year? Sure. Thank you so much, Lara. It is nice to meet you and AG uh, as well. And thank you for the question, having me here on the session today. I'll answer the question. CoinBX being one of the top exchanges in the Indian ecosystem, uh, we are one of the top most and top 100 global exchanges part of. So it becomes a great responsibility for us to be very clear with our strategic, strategic vision, not just for the year coming ahead, but uh, many more down the line. And uh, in order to share views from what we are planning up uh, in the market in the coming days, so we'll see that market expansion, given the way uh, industry is evolving, as rightly said by you in one of your answers, I was listening, that industry is going to evolve, it's going to be bigger and greater as day passes. So our market expansion is definitely on the cards. We're looking at Europe as an important territory apart from India, which is okay to uh, see strong for the India, but we're looking at Europe, we're looking at MENA region and Southeast Asia overall to be there in market 
and we believe that uh, our relevant products over the period would come in line uh, to suit the local environments and the uh, viewpoint of the users right from seasoned traders to uh, you know upcoming uh, new traders on board we have a lot of features in terms of product innovation if i'd like to say we're focusing more on security because that's the thing which is very much important to everyone and it's been talked about due to the recent events that we have seen in past few years how exchanges have gone down due to uh, hacks and what not one yeah as we speak about the was true 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 so i heard because you also mentioned uh, at one of your answer you slightly touch point so that is very important to us and so we are looking on innovation in terms of security we are looking in terms of uh, launching new features very soon in the coming 6 months uh, team will our user base our community will see some interesting features coming in which will make their life easier in terms of making decisions getting informed on a lot of things which they are not able to get information in general in the open market because information is not really curated in that sense compliance and regulation uh, is a must uh, we all know in this space because we have to go hand in hand with as much as uh, we want to provide ease but being an fiu registered exchange and also part of some other communities and uh, associations we take compliance and regulation with topmost integrity and we are regularly working with the authorities in order to ensure the users are always secure and the compliance is followed through and so uh, is our community engagement we have a lot of educational initiatives in plan uh, upcoming years and uh, of course uh, that's the way we see it and that is the way we see that we'll be seeing for a very long time so that's what we have that's great to hear a lot to unfold in the coming years thanks thanks for all the details akash uh, coming on to the next question uh, so how does coinbex prioritize use of feedback you know in the uh, process product development cycle wow that's an interesting question lara i haven't really come across someone asking me and it's it's good that you asked me this question uh, and you thought of it because uh, users are very important be it centralized or decentralized any anything that we talk about so it's great mm-hmm. i would like to highlight that coinbex being one of the tier one exchanges in the indian ecosystem people know about us so it becomes kind of our responsibility in terms of taking users very seriously we take our community very seriously the way we do it is by actively listening to the user feedback not just listen to it but we try to make amends we try to change the processes at times we try to upgrade our features so that it becomes easier for them so let me put it like it is user centric development that we do which ensures uh, transparency and most importantly that uh, coinbex believes in that our users felt heard and valued which is the most important fundamental value through which all of coinbex functions and uh, works according to so that is our mantra that is what we follow and uh, first this is how we incorporate and we do take a lot of decisions based on our customer feedback uh, overall in the exchange and this is why we are upcoming now with lot of features we have lot of plans because our customer wants uh, new things to happen and they want more means to invest and be more involved so we take it very seriously mm-hmm. glad glad to hear that we are uh, listening to users and the customers uh, beforehand uh, you know how other uh, exchanges or the products haven't listened to their customers in those cycles development cycles True. anyway uh, moving on to the other question uh, so coinbex has a strong user community really strong user community but what initiatives do you have in place to engage them further and also educate your user base in the meantime sure so uh, yes <laughs> indeed uh, the team is working really hard to grow the community stronger a lot of credit goes to our marketing our developers and all the team members who are collaborating and contributing towards the growth uh, the community in itself has been very supportive for coinbex and uh, the way we try to engage with our uh, community is in terms of ams like what we're doing now 
we try to put on long form content informative content through our coinbx academy initiative that we are taking wherein we get into depth of uh, issues or uh, problem statements or questionnaires that uh, customers or anyone would come across not just us but anyone because that is free information to access we do a lot of uh, trading contests to keep the fun and engagement alive we, there are giveaways there are a lot of referral plans uh, in order to uh, keep them on toes and then then a spark is always there we have educational newsletter uh, feature wherein uh, we roll out information on a periodic level regularly which consolidates whatever we feel we have a news uh, section which wherein we try to uh, collaborate and uh, put a curated news for the whole day for all our user base so uh, there's a lot we do but uh, the essence of it is uh, very simple that information is the key in today's industry no matter whatever the product we are build, building like you guys are doing an amazing job in terms of wiser uh, w wiser and we see that how information has to be relayed in the right way in form which can be consumed and an informed decision can be made so that's the uh, protocol we follow and uh, very soon we are coming up with a new feature uh, as i told earlier regarding only education and information to be passed on to our user base so this is how uh, we engage and we try to make sure that we are on our toes and make things engaging enough mm -hmm. for them great great uh, great to know that uh, okay so how does coinbx ensure that its customer support is accessible and also, you know effective for users across different re regions all across the world yeah so when uh, as i said that we our goal is to democratize uh, access to digital assets and financial freedom that's what coinbx believes in and customers are of paramount interest their interest uh, is to be safeguarded that is how we see in order to believe uh, let's let me put it this way for any customer or any client to believe in any certain company it is very important that they have they are getting the kind of right support at right time in right way and form. Most of the companies fail to resolve these or address these crucial issues. Now at CoinBX, we have simplified our process. We have made sure that we are providing support in multilingual languages. At this point of time, CoinBX is one of the only exchanges which provides support in seven regional languages. We are 24 cross seven available. Uh, we try to address all the issues that are there within 15 minutes of time resolve it and we also acknowledge is within five minutes of timeline now why we try to keep things so fast the reason is the exchange is very simple transparent and focused on customer experience and things are not very complicated the way we have structured overall our whole company we have divided teams we have divided the responsibilities and we have tried to make sure that the information is free floating for all the departments and they get the information to at the end of the day help out the consumers and this is why we are able to cater to global audience while as i said earlier india is our uh, the strongest foothold but we have customers across the globe and all of them are choosing us just because of two important things we are secure and we are able to give resolutions very fast and address them. So yeah, this is how we try to take care of things. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, another question I'm having related to global crypto market. So what are uh, CoinBX thoughts on the current state of the global crypto market and where do you see it heading in the next few years? So I say that I agree to you because you were very thoughtful yourself. We see it going to the moon, right? <laughs> we see the industry to be mm -hmm. growing. I completely agree to what you were saying. Uh, yes, the market is getting tested. Uh, it has been in every industry, not just uh, blockchain or the crypto industry, if you talk about uh, every other industry has gone through highs and lows and so is this when more importantly we need to I feel personally that our industry is doing really well despite all the challenges coming across because this is an innovative industry the technology is playing very important role here and uh, most importantly the way every single player in the ecosystem no matter what product they're working on is contributing immensely to the growth and 
across the globe, the kind of community showing support to different projects and digital assets is amazing. We feel in the coming years, the market is going to grow and uh, adoption of uh, digital assets blockchain is going to increase it's going to be huge market already we can see the market caps are rising over the period the bull is the bull run is about to be there and bull run is just one aspect of things when we talk for people to understand it easily but i think the technology development of projects and products on top of the core blockchain layer i think that's where the most of the fun is happening and because of that the growth will be there regulatory evolution in terms of compliances and frameworks i think governments are doing a great job they are uh, looking at it from a viewpoint of uh, long term engagement which is very good uh, we see a shift in market dynamics also wherein people are getting mature in terms of the questions and feedbacks they are giving uh, customers are now more informative which is making them choose mm -hmm. and make more informed decisions so all in all i say that we see we are very positive we are rooting for the industry and we are 100% committed to contribute like others and we see a great time ahead thank you so much for your question. Mm -hmm. yeah. thanks thanks also uh, just one question uh, regarding you know uh, how things has been going and because we as coinbx is also indian uh, exchange mm -hmm. so we must be having probably like majorly we will be ha we must be having the indian users so coming back to that uh, the in highlight of the wazirx recent hack you know uh, with the mm -hmm. safety of funds and yes. how people will think uh, a few times before going on the exchanges well, I'm talking about the new users, you know, onboarding new users and not the existing users. So how do we, uh, you know, do we have any uh, sort of EOR uh, proof of reserves? So does CoinBX has it or any plans to establish the same for just the safety of users or, you know, on that That's terms? That's a very good question. Uh, thank you for asking. Uh, firstly, I'd like to say that it's really unfortunate for the whole uh, industry, uh, not just in India, but across the globe, if any exchange or any product that gets penetrated or there's a security breach, it's very, uh, it's a big baggage for the whole industry because uh, it takes us back, right? People put in a lot of efforts, a lot of uh, inputs they give in to build the community stronger, to bring in new products, to do innovation. So much of hard work goes in. And if any unfortunate event of such sort happens, it's very sad. Uh, we personally feel for the being engineers ourselves, being innovative in the product like you guys, we all are, we feel very sad about it. Now, when it comes to CoinBX and onboarding of new users, if you see, we are actually in the industry known as the most trusted and fastest growing exchange. That's the way people know about us. And the trust factor with our exchange is only coming through very simple mechanism that we have followed and which I highlighted in my earlier questions also that customer interest is of paramount focus at our end and we deter bad actors through whatever means and policies we can now it involves security it involves compliance regulatory actions and there are so much more that goes on behind the curtains in order to ensure that the customers are safe when it comes to proof of reserves now uh, that is an interesting area personally i like to talk about people usually new traders in in a way they think like that's the only parameter or medium in order to ensure that uh, this is a legit exchange or not a so legit exchanges now i want to say to all the viewers or listeners today that that is just one aspect of it if you look at all the historical data a lot of exchanges that have given out their proof of reserves still they have breached and the money has been lost for the community user companies and so many people so that's not a barometer that everyone should make an informed decision of choosing an exchange or the way it is one important aspect of course there if you talk about coinbx coinbx is working towards it in order to release uh, a lot of information on those grounds but it is uh, 
worked upon with the relevant team members. So I don't think it is the right platform to highlight that. But we're working towards it. And safety and sense of security is not coming from that alone. It is coming from the kind of engagement you do. We have seen growth when there was a bear cycle ongoing. As an exchange, we are really proud of it because people were choosing us mm -hmm. when people were getting afraid and listening to bad news. I think somewhere the sense of uh, security is there. I think your voice is a little bit. Yeah, Do you hear me? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Sorry, sorry about that. So, so, so we have the answer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> explain okay. really well. Um, thanks, thanks for you know explaining it really well. With insight, um, we um, general public don't understand, and also with the users we are having, they must have gotten really good insight about the industry and how it works yes thanks uh Utkarsh for answering all the questions and i hope our users uh, were uh, educated enough today with our space uh so yeah uh, that's you all were, from my end you were great the questions were really interesting i think you came up with some wonderful questions uh great and ag uh, nice to meet you all yeah thank you thank you i'll leave it to you Aheri and, and lara Thanks a lot, Lara. Um, so AJR community has a question for uh, the YZ community. Uh, so the question is, um, after YZ official announced reaching 38,000 followers, uh, what noticeable changes or strategies in community interaction have been implemented? OK. So as far as current scenario is concerned, we are uh, like, you know, under the sheds and we will supposed to be prosper over the period of time and currently we have a you can say very small and teeny kind of the community with the projects and the technology apart along with simultaneously we are working to getting the huge community from the social media and all so for that we have some uh, good plans over a period of you can say three to four months where we will cater the lot of the community and bringing the community on the use cases of the Vizit. Definitely, there have to be a chance to get listing of the more than 30, 40 plus exchanges throughout the world. And uh, by the mean of that, we will supposed to attract the trading community. Even we will supposed to plan some kind of the trading competition with the exchanges like you and other also. And slightly we will be moving and uh, attracting the trading community through the, you know, some trading competitions, some giveaways and all about to the trading competitions and all. Simultaneously, there are a lot of method to getting and engaging of the community by the social media. For that, we will supposed to have and uh, later on, we will be uh, opening our this uh, mini app uh, with the L2 of the town where uh, people will supposed to have some combats there. They have to enjoy the combats, different type of the combat we will supposed to introduce. And on the basis of that, the community will engage and uh, taking some tap to earn and game to earn kind of the points. And later on, they will enjoy the listing of the L2 with the Vizit also. So these are the some plans I have already highlighted to you. And uh, I think so this is the enough kind of and the slow activity kind of the people are bringing on board by means of different kind of the activities involving engaging, trading, maybe the staking, farming and all the use cases of the crypto. And we are adoring to get these kind of the activities uh, in future. Thank you. Amazing, amazing. So, AG, one more question for the community segment is how does YZ official uh, incorporate community feedback into its development roadmap? And what has been the most significant change or feature implemented based on user suggestions? Okay. So, as far as blockchain is concerned, this is decentralized or a public blockchain is concerned, right? And we are, we are already having the PUA L1, like the zero energy consumption kind of the blockchain. Currently, we are in the process to get some kind of the development with the Ether or the ETH Foundation Lab. And this will be come out by January or you can say late of 2024. 
I am ensuring to the current community as far as this, you can say the suggestions and everything is concerned. Yes, we will supposed to have some devils kind of the suggestions or uh, you can say some kind of the suggestions related to the blockchain as a service. And uh, we are committed to ensuring the enterprise blockchain, which is top of the Alvan with the zero energy consumption and some kind of the features we will adoring from the Ether Lab, Ether Foundation soon. So more or less, uh, these are the activities we will supposed to announce like the hackathons, meetups, and different type of you can say some devil meetups through the incubators program and all where the community will supposed to suggest us how we will be main proceed along with the uh, public sector or you can say government sector kind of the use case of the blockchain in their department soon so these are the plans and later on we will supposed to have to reveal for the devil purpose yes the trading community and other communities will also give us the suggestions how we will be getting some part and the creating the use cases of the blockchain and we are welcome to invite you these kind of a suggestion over a period of time thank you so much amazing amazing uh thanks a lot eg i think that's about it uh, from our end and lara i mean if you're okay we could probably call it uh, an end here Am I audible? Yes, yes. I think so. Lara is not available right now. Maybe some interruption in internet or not. So this is uh, all about for today. And thank you so much for all the, you can say, participants here from my side. And hope so you are all cross the fingers by 8th of, you can say, morning from CoinBX and from us. The big awaited project is coming soon. We have the small community, but definitely the community is, uh, you know, aggressive and the encouraging the every activities belongs to the wise. So that's all. And uh, hope for the best, uh, all the best to all. Cheers and over to you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time today. It was nice being on the uh, session. It was amazing. Uh, we had great. Uh, uh, speaker and uh, AG and Lara, they did a great job. And also I got a lot of insights. I was happy to be a part. Thank you so much, Aheli, for organizing and uh, to all our listeners. And if you all have any questions, I'd be happy. You can write it down, send it over to Ash uh, Aheli and we'll be happy to address them uh, when we get uh, to it. Thank you so much, all of you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining in. Thank you, Lara. Thank you, AG. Thank you, Utkarsh, for also sharing your time with us. And it was truly an informa uh, sorry, informative session. And wonderful to see you all joining us. And yes, we are going live with Vizit on the 8th of uh, September. So everybody, please stay tuned for that. And here's us bidding you a good night and have a great weekend. Thank you so much.